So I got 7,000 crystals. They decided to drop a new CTP. I've decided to make some bad life decisions and try to get a couple of CTPs, a conquest. Because you know Alliance Conquest is my favorite game mode. So let's go ahead and see here. Let's remind ourselves there's a 100% chance. Let's go, dude. 100% chance to get a five-star obelisk. That's sick. And then we have a dismal chance to get everything else. When it's chance up, what is the chance here for conquest? 1%? There's a 1%? Bro, 1%? Count me in, dude. Sign me up. Let's let's get it on, dude. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I'm not going to even bother blocking the little thing at the bottom that shows. All right, I decided to block it. Maybe you can guess who's blocking it. Which meme template is blocking the little thing here? I'm not going to look down. Yes, let's go. Nothing. 100% chance, boys. 100% chance to get a five-star. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. We still haven't seen the dreaded double five-star. Or, sorry, the, the, the yeah, the double five-star. The double five star is the ultimate uh, sign. Ooh, bada bing, bada boom, bada bap. Okay, there we go. We got one. Very cool. Now, can we get another one? This is this is the question that everyone is wondering. They knew he could get one, but can he get two? Can he go back to back? All right, one and three is very good. We got bro, those five star obelisks, man. I'm I'm hype, man. Sign me up. Sign me all the way up for those five star obelisks. All right. So this video is going to cost about as much to make as it is going to make in, in ad revenue as long as you guys watch. Oh, the dreaded double five stars. So for those of you that for those of you that don't know in the YouTube gambling lore, when you see two five star obelisks, it's the sign that you're not going to get lucky anymore. That you're basically boom. <laughs> yo, psych. Yo, say psych. Well, too bad for you because hey, I'm just I'm just built different, you know. When I dropped out of, uh, you know, my mom's butt, uh, the doctor was like, "Yo, that, that kid's built different." So that's just how it is, boys. Can we get one more? Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, your boy just went like three for I don't know how many, but that was sick. That was disgusting. I had seven thousand crystals. Hold up, divide that by six seventy-five. I only did ten pulls, baby. I only did 10 pulls, so we just went three for 10, and at the same time, I'm seeing somebody that got a two for one. Okay, yeah, I hate you guys. You guys always have to one-up me and double-up me and triple-up me. Someone's in the chat saying this right now. Anywho, I'm actually very excited to test out this CTP. We got three of them here now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reforge one of them because I, I really want to punish myself <laughs> even further. So we're going to go ahead. None of these are rolled well, eh? I actually can't even tell. Uh, decreases damage by 70, so 80% would be the max there. Um, and then a 20% heal. So none of them have a 20%. None of them are rolled. They're rolled exactly the same, basically. Yeah, they're all rolled pretty much exactly the same. So we're going to reforge these two. And then we're going to have to unlock some clowns here. So we're going to sacrifice these two destructions. We're going to sacrifice an energy. And I'm going to sacrifice... Oh, man. Not a lot of CTPs left these days, eh, boys? Not a lot of CTPs left. I'm going to sacrifice a judgment because I'm feeling extra spicy. Yeah, we're going to say, don't, don't look, guys. If this is not really, if this is a little bit traumatic for you, look away. So we got the, okay, hang on. We, we got to move the camera here. Hold up, hold up. We got to do this the right way. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice the, you guys have, I've very rarely tried this on video. Like, uh, we've done these on streams and stuff, but not in, in actual YouTube videos. We're going to sacrifice a judgment, an energy, and two destructions. That gives us a 15% chance. I hate going all the way max. I like doing like 6%, 9%, 15%. Because I feel like whenever I go to 21 and I go and I go max, which by the way, you, you can put one more CTP there and go max. Uh, when I never get it when I go max. I never get it anyways, right? I never get it anyways. I'm very, 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 very unlucky when it comes to reforging CTPs. But at least this way... Um, I don't feel as bad, right? If I were to go all in an extra CTP and then boom, failure, it just it feels so, so bad. But in general, this is only for, you know, the, 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 the blubberiest of players, the players who have been playing for a really long time. Um, it, technically, even if you're not a whale, you could do this once in a while if you are a very long time player and if you've just accumulated a lot of bad CTPs over the years because they've been doing like the free CTP login now for like almost three years, right? They give away a free CTP now 
with uh, Otherworld Battle. You can get a CTP now from Shadowland. There's a Shadowland Selector CTP. They give away CTPs for Black Friday and uh, the anniversary. So realistically, you could get like 15 to 20 free CTPs a year. So if you've been doing that for three years and like 60 CTPs, let's say a third of those are bad, you could you could have built up like 20 bad CTPs, right? And if you're not a psycho and you're not equipping bad CTPs on characters, then you could do this. I'm not saying you should do this, but you could do this. So just just a, just to point it out, like I, I, in general, yeah, it's a very whale move to do this. But on the flip side, having five extra characters who have a CTP of transcendence equipped or like whatever you know an unreforged ctp of greed that's doing very little for your account so there is some value to consider this if you are the type of player who has like 20 30 spare ctps of the bad variety right even if you're not going to go for a brilliant even if you're just going to combine and make a bunch of mighties that's not a bad idea like if i was not a whale i would probably just take those two destructions boom make a mighty and now i have a good hybrid ctp for whatever characters that I want for PV and PVP. I would take two of those judgments, boom. I would make a mighty judgment. I would take those two rage, boom, make a mighty rage, right? You see what I'm saying? I would do that and I would just, but I would avoid the brilliance because the, the brilliance are, as you're about to see, are just brutal. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop stalling here. I'm just scared for my luck, uh, but yeah. I don't, I don't recommend doing this, but I also don't recommend doing 21%, like doing the max. I would say four CTPs is my new max, but let's see here. 15% chance to get lucky. No, we didn't get it. I, you, you never get it. You just, if you're me, you just never get it. I'm really lucky when it comes to cards. I'm really lucky when it comes to gambling for uh, Celestial Essence and Artifacts. But when it comes to CTPs, I'm super unlucky. I'm super unlucky, especially when it comes to reforging. And I feel like everybody's account is different. This is obviously just like a tinfoil hat theory that I have. You know, cue the X-Files music, whatever it's called. You know, da 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 right? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I feel like this is always going to be how my account is. Like, it's always going to be unlucky when it comes to uh, reforging CTPs, and that's kind of just the way it is. But now I have a Mighty with the 60% Clash, which is the, actually rolled the best for Clash, which is good. Um, and then it, roll, it, it kept everything else, so it keeps the 15% heal instead of a 20% heal, which is the max there. Um, and then it is a 70% damage reduction instead of 80. So I could actually now re-roll this. And when you see here with the random option, so you can get clash. There's three different clashes. There's 40, 50, and 60%. So I'm probably not going to re-roll this because I got the maximum clash, which is good. Um, there's obviously better. Like This CTP could be better, right? It could give me instead of a, oh, it's a 5% heal. Oh, oh, yeah, it's a 5% heal. Yeah. So it could, it could be a 10% heal instead of 5, but that's kind of meaningless. It doesn't matter either way. And then it could be increasing, increasing my max HP by 20 instead of 15%. But again, that doesn't really matter. The only thing that I think I would reroll for is the damage reduction. I would prefer that to, to start at 80% and then reduce by 3% every time. Um, but I honestly, you know what? Screw it. Let's do a, let's do a few rerolls. I have a lot of spare uh, obelisks here. We're going to not go for the 40, but we're going to we'll settle for the 50 or the 60. We're not going to settle for the all attack, uh, but we want the recovery rate. That's fine. And then we're only going to settle for the max here. Uh, you know what? I think we'll settle for the 75. The 75 and the 80 and the 20 and the 17. I think I'll settle for those those two here. So let's go ahead and do 10 rolls and see if we can land one. In general, rolling these is a bitch. So I wouldn't recommend it either unless you have a lot of spare obelisks. Uh, but yeah. Oh, hey, we got it. 50% with a... So we got the lowest roll possible. Okay. Yeah, this is this is basically how it is. This is this is 100% how this shit goes. But we did get at least get a high recovery rate, almost 90% recovery. So that'll help the 7% the heal be a little bit higher. Uh, but in general, if you're wondering who these CTPs are good for, because I think that's the other big reason why people clicked on this video, um, I think in general they're going to be good for characters who already have healing. So this is going to be a bit of a tricky one, but I think probably the only one that I would say for now with like with a decent amount of confidence is gore now obviously i have to test this ctp out uh, i'm not going to test it out right now just because it would, it would be way too expensive to do these tests and i just blew all my crystals but when you look at the ctp it's very very powerful offensively and defensively right like it gives you damage reduction and it gives you increased basic damage dealt that's really really good um but the problem with this this ctp is it has no healing it has no defenses outside of the guard break immunity and outside of the recovery rate 
but the recovery rate only really matters if you have a character that heals either for a large amount with 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 each heal or that heals very very constantly so i think someone like gore could certainly use it because he has the auto heal i do think as well wolverine could use this ctp although i'm not sure if it's better than agreed it does still give you it does still give you that um immune immunity to reflect and it also uh you know gives you the damage but this one gives you a damage increase and a ignore damage enemies damage decrease right it has both so this one's like pure offense i would say now the conquest is probably like the in between between the pure offense greed and the pure defense authority um the qu conquest is probably going to be a little bit better for wolverine than the greed but it certainly has to be a brilliant to compete like i don't think a, a mighty conquest is going to compete with a brilliant greed right like that doesn't really make sense uh, I think it could also work for Jean, potentially, because she has a lot of healing. But again, a lot of people are rocking brilliant greeds. Um, and then for Jean, she's more susceptible than usual to reflect. You have to make sure that you roll that Clash effect so that it has that... Because uh, Clash gives you immunity to reflect, right? You can see here on the, on the thing it says it gives you immunity to... It gives you guard break and super guard break immunity. And then it gives you enemy reflect damage effect immunity. So you're immune to reflect. It's a very, very powerful effect. Uh, but I think it is going to take characters that are very tanky and have a lot of healing to survive um, and to be able to utilize it. So Adam is another option, I think, as well as Strife, but only if you have the artifacts. So without the artifacts, I don't think it's possible. But with the artifacts, I think both of them are going to be good potentially with it. And I don't think it's a coincidence that Strife comes out when the CTP comes out kind of simultaneously. I do think it's intended uh, to sort of bridge that gap for those characters. But yeah, outside of them... I think that the rest of the the meta i mean it could be good for hulk to be honest it could be good for hulk it just doesn't have hp right the way that re refinement or regen have hp uh to scale his hp and to scale his damage the conquest doesn't have that right um now increasing his basic damage is very strong since he has very good scaling and the damage reduction is strong and and hulk does have a lot of healing um but it'll take it'll take a lot of testing to find out so those are sort of my preliminary thoughts on the ctp um, I uh, probably won't gamble anymore, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed the gambling that we did do because we don't do it very often. Anyways, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.